Good afternoon, this is Lynx. Uh, here's, here's one that's kind of, um, kind of the opposite of that other one. Or maybe another side of that other one that's like, well, what's working? When we did, when I did, when I showed you guys that exercise, what's working? Um, so person, um, is looking, you know, every once in a while you want to, you want to take stock, right? So you ask yourself, what, what, what's too rigid? Where am I too rigid? So person asked, where is she too rigid? Okay. And, uh, she gets, <laughs> um, too rigid in, in, in wanting inspiration, I guess, or demanding inspiration. So too rigid in the way that one approaches, this one is approaching, um, inspiration. Let's try another one. Where, where's this person asks, where are they being rigid? And this is what comes out. Right. Now try to move past, um, try to move past the obvious meanings with this one and see if you can get it to come out from deep inside of you. Where, where is this person being too rigid in, um, in understanding it, in how they enforce group dynamics or understanding how they fit in a group and really uh, being too rigid about how they see themselves in the group which is doing them a disservice. Okay, so, so try this one. What, how, you know, where am I being too rigid, okay? So let's try a couple other, let's try, um, he, per, a person asks, he asks, where am I being too rigid, right? And he gets uh, a playing card, let's try the playing card. Um, okay, so he's being too rigid in, in how he demands or expects to keep finding insight. That's kind of interesting if you think about it. Someone keeps expecting insight into a situation instead of just kind of letting it be. This, this surprises. This is surprising. Okay, I'm going to try this. I'm opening a whole bunch of oracles. For All right, let's see. Oh, it looks like the oracle king puked all over my table here. There's like 50. All right person asks, where's she being rigid, all right, and she gets, this is the I Ching, right, so this is uh, the clinging, okay, so, in what she demands of her relationships, um, oh, 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 actually, this is, actually, I'm sorry, the spirit of the I Ching just hit me, hit me on this one, too rigid in having to shine brightly and be a beacon, I always say if someone's always got to show you how they're the, you know, sometimes, sometimes a person constantly trying to show you how positive they are is, uh, is just guilt in disguise. So they're trying to rigidly show, I'm trying to be so positive and it's like, all right, give it a rest. We get it. You know, sometimes it's, sometimes it's forced and you're like, ah, and they're like, hi. And it's like, some, now some people it's really natural and, and, um, but, but sometimes an individual can be really rigid about that. And then the light turns to, you know, the bright sun turns to a sunburn. One more. Okay. Person, where is he being too rigid? Um, in his workout, constantly forcing himself in his workout to have a certain kind of physique, certain kind of body style, certain kind of um, look. And his body is actually getting rigid. So he's, he's become too rigid in his body. And you see this, you can see this a lot. Uh, sometimes people with um, very rigid bodies and no flexibilities in their bodies, it's, 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 it's quite often that there's little flexibility in their mind as well. It's like, got to do this every day. Got to have the same meal. Got to do this. Got to never letting up. There's, there's such a thing as too much. Okay. Um, did I do a tarot? I didn't. I did all oracles today. Uh, let's do a tarot. Let's let's do this one. Might as well open another box. All right. Let's do the Santa Muerta. Where is the person being too rigid? All right. And they're doing. They're doing the rigidity in. Um, work. Work. I'm just gonna leave it that work. 
being too rigid in their work, in their work life, how they approach work and how they approach uh, what they believe work should be. And uh, I think that's enough. I think you guys get the idea. So I hope you guys get the idea. So try it. Where am I being too rigid? Am I am I being too rigid in the way I hold this camera? Uh, where where am I being too rigid? And then try it. And then and then be careful that you don't don't beat yourself up. Don't use this as an excuse to beat yourself up. Be gentle with yourself and just say, okay, I'm being too rigid here. Don't be too rigid about how you show how rigid you or how you determine how rigid you are. Does that, did that make sense? So. Um, Try it. Just like that, that other one that I gave you before the end of the year where there was the exercise of how do I, you know, what's working? If you use that in conjunction with this one, well, what's working and where am I being too rigid? It's kind of neat. You can learn a lot that way. If you want to schedule a reading with me, 779-302-8009. Don't be rigid. Get a reading. And if you want to schedule a class or you want to do a class, I got a tarot class, I got a playing card class, I got a crystal ball class, I got a Lenore Man class, I got a Lenore Man deck here, so I got a Lenore Man class, and um, Lenore Man. Well, oh, I got a Mexican Lotteria. That one's super fun. It's turning out to be super fun. And let me tell you, the it's a small class, and the people in it who um, are seeing the way that you can break these down, their minds are being blown, and it's, it's a lot of fun. So, check, play, see. How rigid? Where am I being rigid? And see what it gets you and see what, what it teaches you. I am Lucky Links, as always, wishing you success and good fortune in all that you do.